to teleprompt or not to teleprompt. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. When people are starting to do their own videos, they sometimes wonder, do I need to use a teleprompter or can I just go off the cuff? And like many things, it just depends. It depends on how comfortable you are with your content, as well as do you want to be exact? If you wanna be exactly one minute long, then it's gonna be ideal to write a script that's 150 words, put it on a teleprompter and perform it perfectly. Although if you just have some bullet points or maybe you're just really not comfortable using a teleprompter or maybe you don't have the equipment, you can totally get away with not using a teleprompter. Personally, I love teleprompters. They help keep me in line and they help keep me going in the direction I need to go. I don't have a teleprompter right now and that's why I'm just kind of stumbling over my words. And so if you really want to be exact, make sure you use a teleprompter and ideally one that's going to be with a 50-50 mirror. That 50-50 mirror, it's kind of like an interrogation uh, window as I like to describe, where the police can look at the person being interrogated but the interrogator can't see the police looking at them. That is a 50-50 mirror that will allow you to read everything perfectly over the lens and give that lens perfect eye contact. So. When you're starting to do your own videos and aren't sure whether you want to use a teleprompter or not, think, how comfortable are you with the material and how exact do you want to be? If you have any questions or want suggestions for a teleprompter, please leave your comments below.